Greetings, mighty companions, and welcome back to Transforming Relationships Through a Course of Miracles with the Quins. Yay! Anna and Greg. And Holy Spirit. That's and Greg. right. Who exactly. we call Yahweh. Way. All y'all. All, all y'all's y'all. way. <laughs> That's our God. All y'all's way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what we do on Sundays and Tuesdays here with you guys is we take a section from A Course in Miracles and we go through it and we try to understand what it's saying, what it means, and then we try to understand what it means to apply these principles to our relationships, all of them, so that we can have miracles in our relationships. Miracles of peace and joy and abundance and joining and fun and love and support and safety and all those things that we all want in a relationship and that we all deserve. And of course, in miracles is, you know, is the better way that the scribe Helen Shuckman asked for when she was asking for a better way to do relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, she was like, the way we do relationships sucks. And uh, and and her partner, her colleague Bill Thefford said, there's got to be a better way to do meetings and partnerships and relationships. And Helen said. I join you in finding that better way. And shortly after that, Helen began hearing a series of of inner uh, inner voice um, and inner visions. And she thought she was going insane and having some very prophetic dreams. And then at some point the voice said, this is a course in miracles, please take notes. You know. She said, I need your (laughs) secretary. Get out of my head. You're gonna put me on medicine, I'll be out of a job. You know, imagine being a psychologist and you start hearing a voice. You know, when you're a psychologist and you start hearing voices, you know, you know the, you know, some institutionalization and medication may be just around the corner. It's, but, but the Course of Miracles was the better way. The Course of Miracles was the answer to these two people joining in asking for love's way. For a better way to be in relationship. There's got to be a better way to do relationships. And of Course in Miracles is the answer. And what a great scribe for heaven to come to. Yeah. An atheist. He's not perfect. He's unbiased. That way, that way the Course, you know, the Course is just like, um, you know, so many of our spiritual stories in life. We hear these people that you know, was seemingly the furthest person away yeah. from a spiritual leader or a teacher or whatever. But that's who heaven tends to pick. Mm-hmm. And why? <clears throat> because so many of us that are on our spiritual journeys and stuff, heaven can't come and use us because we think, we think we already have it figured out. So we're unusable. Mm-hmm. And somebody like Helen Shuckman that was a an atheist, mm-hmm. a militant atheist. You know, she didn't have anything figured out, and so she yeah, was. About she was God. <laughs> yeah, she was an open, like, you know, open box for heaven to fill in right. how things might work. If, yes. if heaven came to a lot of other people, mm-hmm. they would argue so much with heaven, thinking they know how it is. You know. That's what your mom was saying. Yeah. She was like, if I had been one of those disciples. I'd have been arguing with Jesus all the time, all, yeah. the, all the time, about right. the weird things that he was saying. I think right. that cracked me up. Right. That's. <laughs> but Helen Shuckman, you know, she had she didn't have a she didn't have a religious position yeah. or any kind of spiritual position that she was defending. And so, you know, when the boy said, that "This is a course of miracles. Please take notes," she's like, uh, and okay. I guess we end up talking about that tonight. You know, yeah. interestingly. The one of the um, things that we need to know is that our understanding is not necessary necessary at all for any of this to work for 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 miracles of peace to happen for for our, for your relationship to be transformed from something fearful to something magnificent a blessing for all the world. You don't have to understand how that can happen for it to happen. Yeah. Now, how much easier it's so can much it be easier. than that? Exactly. Now, listen, everybody, pay attention. Thing. We're 
going to be on Take it. section chapter 18, section 3, paragraph 4. Everybody pay attention. Even though your understanding is not critical. Yes. And truth to be true. Yeah. That's and right. love to be loved. That's right. And what's really going on is what's really going on. Yes. Our understanding is not a critical factor. That's right. But our trust, our faith, is critical. Exactly. And this section is a section that is talking about the path, the path, this path, you know, the path, which of course miracles calls a universal path. It's just one form of a of the universal course. And this this course that of course of miracles um, shows us is a path where we were have been walking alone and on our own and miserable. Trying to figure it out by ourselves. Exactly. Walking the way of dreams. Pulling up our own bootstraps by exactly. ourselves. Trying to get to, to heaven and peace by ourselves, you know, trying to get to peace and love at the expense of others. Like I'm I'm doing it myself, you know. He says, and in the past we, in our past, we walked alone. Even if we were in a relationship, our thoughts, our belief system was that we are, were separate and alone and different. And we walked this way of dreams. So we, a path we walked alone where we felt alone, if, even if we had bodies around us. But then something happened. Something happened. So the universe sent us another person who said, I also would like to learn the real meaning of love. I do not know the real meaning of love. I don't know the real meaning, but I would like to learn it, and I'm willing to learn it with you. you know, whether that's a colleague, or a mate, or a family member, or a friend, or, or invisible, or bit invisible spirit, whatever. But that the moment that two people, whoever they are, decide that they want to learn together the real meaning of love and they both together allow their teacher to, to teach them what it is and those two people agree that they don't want to rule their relationship uh, uh, separately. They want to give their relationship to spirit who knows the real meaning of love. Something happens and now you're on a new path. And uh, a new, the new path is where we're walking together because we realize that we can't get home alone. You know, you heard the movie Home Alone? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> of course in miracles is, Even you can't get home alone. <laughs> Even he wasn't alone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Even he wasn't alone, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so in this section, it uh, what we read in paragraph one to one through four was the way the way that the path we were walking alone up until the, the point where we took each other's hands in a common goal to learn love's meaning of love okay not our past meaning um, and then now it goes on from paragraph four on to the path that we walk once we've taken each other's hands okay um, and it's a very different path. It's a very different kind of life. Right? Yeah, because when we take each other's hand, mm -hmm. which is not physical, again, yes. <coughs> to take nervous. each other's hand is a conscious decision mm -hmm. that, okay, I know that I've been taught, just like you have, mm -hmm. that God is a God of punishment. Mm -hmm. and God's a God of judgment. God can't wait to backhand me as soon as I step out of line. And because I believe that, that learn that's how, that. and learn that, that's how love operates, mm -hmm. that that's how I've been doing my life. Mm -hmm. That's how I've been doing things. Mm -hmm. It's fearing love because love can judge me, love can punish me, love can put me in time out for my own best good. <laughs> and when I join with anybody else, my neighbor, my co-worker, my family, my friend, in this idea that, oh, let's try this new way, where love doesn't require punishment, love doesn't require sacrifice, 
Now that can be awful scary because now I get this opportunity to let you, my co-partner in this adventure, my teammate, be yourself without what? Without the old way of doing it, which is giving you judgment, mm -hmm. condemnation, mm -hmm. maybe shoveling a little guilt toward you to get you. You know it. I'll steer you the way I want you to go with some little guilt. Mm -hmm. Used to be very effective. Yeah, but now I'm I'm trusting in this new way, which. At first, I was listening to our last broadcast and you were pointing out, <clears throat> you know, only at first is it difficult. Yes, is this at new At the beginning, path? it's more it's difficult yes. because we're so used to, to keep myself safe, I need to give Anna some guilt. Mm -hmm. To keep myself safe from getting in trouble somehow, mm -hmm. emotionally or physically or, or attack somehow financially in my life, I'm going to have to, you know, give her some rules, just like God does, <laughs> to live by. Greg's Ten Commandments. <laughs> don't, don't, don't have any other husbands before you. <laughs> Oops, too late, sorry. Oops. What about the next one? Okay, well, what about let's the move next on one? to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of three, can we get a good, good best, you know, don't, best out of five? Don't, yeah, <laughs> we'll just stop there. <laughs> I don't want to go through all my and rules. All the rest of the commandments are just as ridiculous as that one. Yeah, I don't want to go through all my rules because There's a lot. then you'll know what they are. Exactly. That takes half of my fun away. Is, be able to tell you, hey, you broke another rule, girl. Well, yeah, but you didn't tell me that rule. That's all right. I, was late. I didn't think you were dumb enough to ever break that rule. <laughs> and if you loved me, you would have known that rule. You would have known not to do that to somebody you love. <laughs> if you love me, you, did you know that. all the rules I give you that so, I don't ever tell you about. So evidently, since you don't know, now I'll have to tell you. Yes. You know. Yes. So good. anyway, now we're trying this new way. And the new way new kind of relationship. is allowing us, finally, after we've been hearing this, not just in this section, but all through the Course of Miracles, is that for many, many moons, let's say it that way, we have been retreating from love, yes. running from love, yes. being afraid of love, sabotaging love, sabotaging love. Yep. And now That's the old way. we're picking up a, we're you could say we're retransforming ourselves mm -hmm. to go in a different direction, mm -hmm. to be experiencing a whole new life, which mm -hmm. is this life of. At first, uh, it's scary. Okay, I'm not gonna give you guilt. I'm gonna let you be who you are. And, uh, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna trust that <laughs> it's gonna work out somehow. <laughs> letting you be you. Oh, I, oh, I know it's, I know it's oh, tough. Go to, little to pigeon. Let me be, to let me be me. Fly away, little <laughs> dove. And if love was true, it would come back to me. Very good, good job. You must be doing your workbook lesson every morning. Yeah. <laughs> And so, and so that is the, it's always tough, you know, doing things different than we used to. It's always it's trying. The beginning to, of a new path. Of a, it's always the hardest thing. part. It's like, oh yeah, we're, oh yeah, yes. I'm supposed to exactly. let her be her. Yeah, and I'm supposed oh, to now man. do the opposite of everything I've been doing all my life. Yeah. Okay, basically. I hope I get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop judging her because I don't want to be judged. Exactly. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, give remember. Her, give as I want to receive back. Oh, yeah. Man, this is so this much is so, to, so complicated to learn these common sense principles. <laughs> it's so hard to do these common sense principles. <laughs> <laughs> so remember to only give what I want to receive back. Oh, I keep forgiving God. when I punch people well, in the face. Exactly. Oh yeah, I don't oh, yeah, want darn it. I don't want to punch exactly. back in the face. Why can exactly. I do that again? Exactly. And, um, you know, it, it was, oh, there was something I was going to talk about, but I can't remember what it was. All right. Okay, well, but anyway. I'll stop the rant oh, so we funny. can go on to number four. Funny. So we're on, we, now we have a new purpose for our lives, and now we have a new purpose for being in relationships. And it's the opposite of our old purpose for being in relationships, where it was to be right and to have control and to get our way. 
you know, because that's obviously what love does. And, and, uh, and that old way, that old purpose for our relationship has uh, just led into deeper and deeper and deeper darkness in our relationships, <laughs> you may have noticed. Um, but um, now we're on a new path. We have a new purpose for our relationship, which is not to get the other person to do love the way you think love is, but where both of you agree you don't know what love is or how to love, and you both turn to uh, a, a teacher, a spirit that knows what love is, and you give your relationship to that to that guide, that teacher who knows the meaning of love and wants to transform your relationship to the true meaning of love and is willing to do it for you. And now you're on a new path. Um, and now you're you're on a new path to a new kind of life and a new kind of relationship with everybody. Okay. So in the paragraph four, after it all it told us the, how we've been walking the way of dreams by ourselves, separate and alone, uh, after all that. Chapter 18, section 3, paragraph 4. Now, since we've joined each other, we've taken each other's hands to walk along the road to the real meaning of love, whatever that is. Now, it says, you are advancing to love's meaning, real meaning. And that's what's going on now. Because Just so before, you know. before we were told that we weren't afraid of love, we're not afraid of love. We're afraid of the meaning yeah, that we surrounded that it. We gave yes, love. Exactly. It's not the real meaning. We gave love a meaning, but it's not the real meaning. Mm -hmm. But now that we've taken each other's hand in this new path, mm -hmm. now we're advancing to the real, real meaning, meaning of not love. our meaning that it's we gave. Exactly. Love is judgment, love is punishment. Sacrifice. We're headed to the real meaning, yeah. which is freedom. And love is freedom, and love is something you don't ever have to be afraid of. Right. Real love is something you don't have to be like, you can leave me, you can abandon me, you can disappoint me, you can betray me. I've been so betrayed by love. I can no, be you punished. haven't. I can be punished by love. Love can leave me again. I no, can be hurt. it was never love that left you. Uh, that was not love that left you. That was judgment that left you. That was fear that left you. Um, in the in the paths that we walked in the uh, it, the paths that we walked in the past, where paths we walked where we had uh, interpreted love to find love as so frightful that now we're terrified of love. So every time love comes close to us, we run the other way, shrink or sabotage. But right now, that's the past. What's happening now is we are advancing to love's real meaning. And we are advancing away from all the illusions in which we have surrounded love. Hallelujah. I'm leaving them in the dust. <laughs> all those lies and illusions I surrounded love in, I am leaving them in the dust as I advance to the real meaning of love, which is the opposite of all the meaning of love I gave love and in when the you, past. When you first... <coughs> For anybody new to A Course in Miracles, when you first start advancing toward love, mm -hmm. I, I remember and I know it can be trying to, because you feel like you're doing something evil, mm. wrong, terrifying, blasphemous, yes. you know, something upsetting to God, that mm -hmm. you're, you're actually going to start thinking that God is, is, uh, is safe. Can you believe that God could be safe? Oh, you mean like once we get on this new path, once you get on this, we're new actually path. gonna not be afraid of God. Right. Okay. And at first, I remember for but me, at first, there's a lot of fear of God. For me, at yes. first in this curriculum, that really felt borderline. I felt, I felt uneasy with it. Yes. Indeed. And that easiness comes from decades and decades of our life. Maybe lifetimes. You know, not believing that God is safe, that love is actually safe mm -hmm. to come to, mm -hmm. because there could be some kind of... Condemnation. You know, uh, what would you say, response that would be not favorable. Come to condemnation. Yeah, judgment, punishment, yeah. condemnation, guilt even. Yeah. You know, where God didn't punish you, he just said, 
disappointed. I'm disappointed. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, how how come you're dressed this way? Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't. Next time when you come to see me, you know, I'm not going to punish you. I'm just letting you know. This is this isn't acceptable to me. Yes. All right. You're really embarrassing when you come in with that little thing draped around you. <laughs> Who do you think and, you and are? What, and what about that thing? Yeah, what is this thing? Is this say, some satanic thing you wear? Pagan symbol? You know, I'm not going to punish you this time, but I want you but to it, think about... What you did. You know, and you know, I just want you to know I'm very disappointed and, in you. And while you're away from me this week, I want you to be thinking, <laughs> you know, how unwonderful your experience was with me because how disappointed I was. I want you to be thinking about that the whole time. Mm -hmm. Instead, we're like, uh, that doesn't feel very safe to want to come to that when I can put myself through the ringer. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so, uh, but anyway, know that it's okay to feel that uneasiness. At the beginning, at the beginning, at the beginning of, the of this, of this journey where you're heading toward, toward love's real mm -hmm. meaning in a way from what you learned about love in the past. Right. You know, as you move away from what you learned in the, of love in the past, like Greg said, you're going to feel nervous. You're going to feel anxious. You're going to feel uh, a, a, a weird uneasiness because, you know, we've all been taught if you go against what we all tell you, then something's wrong with you and you're going to be judged. You know, so as we move away from what we learned, it, of course, we're going to have some terror. We're, of course, we're going to, like it says in here, we're going to be moving toward love, still terrified of love's judgment upon us. So, at the beginning of your advance toward truth, toward the real meaning of love, you are going to have some terror. You are going to have some fear come up, mm -hmm. you know, because, well, you know, I was learning love is judgmental and I'm getting a little closer to love, so, you know, and so... You know, and, and same thing in the in the new relationship, the the new relationship path of, that's called the holy relationship. At the beginning of the whole the holy relationship, the new holy relationship, where now we have a new goal, different than our old goal. At the beginning of that relationship, there's going to be a lot of terror. There's going to be a lot of fear. Yeah. Um, and a lot of temptation to blame the other person for the discomfort you're feeling when that's not the reason. And you're gonna be tempted to get rid of them and substitute them for, for someone who represents your old goal for relationships much better. That will happen, that's not a maybe, that's not a if. Just like on the new path to the real meaning of love and to God, there's gonna be some terrifying moments where you're gonna to wanna to shrink back to the to the old familiar definitions of love. Mm -hmm. You're gonna wanna shrink back. You're gonna wanna run back. <clears throat> and it's saying, don't, don't uh, be fooled by that. Don't be fooled by that temptation. Don't be fooled by that guidance, right? Because you are advancing to love's meaning now, which means away from all, all illusions in which you have surrounded love. Now, here's what you need to know on your path to the real meaning of love. Here's what you need to know. When you retreat, didn't say if, mm -hmm. it said when you retreat to the illusions of love that you learned in the past, your fear will increase. Because there's little doubt that what you think love means is fearful. But what is that? What is, your, what is that little fear that you're experiencing to us who travel surely and very swiftly away from fear. You who hold each other's hand also hold mine, says love. Because when we joined each other, we were not alone. When you and I joined and we're like, okay, let's join in finding the real meaning of love, which is nothing you and I have ever learned in the past. <clears throat> It wasn't just Greg and I joining. It's like, it's like, you know, the angels were, you know, cheering, yay, all right, they joined, they finally joined each other's hands and they finally joined, you know, our mission. And we had no idea what we did and, and who joined with us when we joined. 
Yeah, and really they were there all along. Yes, calling so us. They didn't join, decide to join us once we decided no. to join. Heaven's already been joined on this whole idea that love is safe, that God is safe, that Creator is embracing, Creator is inviting, not repelling. Creator wants to have a relationship with us, which means an experience with us. And we can't have an experience with something we're afraid of. We're naturally going to want, that's such a hurdle that we're overcoming. If we're afraid of something, doesn't matter if it's love, God, whatever it is, if we're afraid of it, if I'm a, afraid of something in my front yard, I'm not going out there. To join with it. Not, not without a weapon, you know? Exactly. And the weapon that we use against love is this whole fairy tale story of what love is, what we made love exactly. to be. And that's the weapon we use against yes. it if we're afraid of it. Yep. Why? Because we don't know love. Exactly. We, we didn't create love. We didn't create love. So now we're afraid of it, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's an interesting point that one of the reasons we're afraid of love is because we didn't create love. Right. You know, and, and so it's like, well, I don't really want what I made. You know, what and so, I know and, and I like what I know and understand, and what I don't understand is love hurts, love demands sacrifice. You know, and so we don't and want. Look how fun that. <laughs> look how that's worked out for yeah, us. That's been hilariously <laughs> fun. <Ooh. laughs> a whole world of us exactly doing that with each other, being afraid of love. Exactly. I tell you what, the things that we have done in our fear of love, you know, I tell you what, we've been quite mean. We've been quite, we've been quite mean and uh, cruel in our fear of love. You know, you don't realize that when when someone's being cruel to you, that that's someone who is afraid of love. You know, someone who's cruel to you is afraid. They are, they're so afraid of love. They're gonna, they're gonna do whatever they have to do to make sure you run away from them and don't love them. You know, we forget about that. So, so then it says, so in other words, yes, as you're advancing to love's meaning, there are going to be times when you're going to retreat to the old lies about love and you're going to get afraid um, because, hey, what you used to think about love is beautiful, but that's nothing. What's that to us who travel surely and very swiftly away from fear? You who hold each other's hand also hold mine, says our, the teacher of love, because when we joined each other, we were not alone. Wow, when we joined, it's like uh, all, the, all the teachers and masters and guides joined with us. And then our teacher who joined with us when we joined is now asking us a question. Do you believe that I would leave you two in the fear and the pain that you both agreed to leave with me? You know, the fear and the pain like y'all were in your past relationships. Yeah, it's like the, the old Israelites leaving the desert. Do you think that when you agreed to leave the desert, when I said it's time to go right, right. to the promised land, mm -hmm. what's the promised land? To a land of safety. Safety and abundance. Not, not, you know, that was what kept them from the promised land, the Israelites, is because they perceived that it wasn't safe to go there. There would be punishment there. Isn't that what love does? Is it has punishment waiting for you possibly? <laughs> oh, there might be some milk and honey over there. Just Maybe. like some of our spies said there was, and they brought some of the fruit back of the land to even prove it. But don't forget with the God, giants. there's also some punishment over there. In the land. That's one of the illusions in, in we the, learned about God, about the, love. And the punishment is all, the idea that punishment is waiting for us over there is the idea, the belief that we carry and hold with us that keeps us from the promised land. Or as you could say, that keeps us from heaven. Or, or as love. you could say, keeps us from an experience yes. with our Creator, or with our each source, other. with love, with God, is our own belief. It's not God's belief that's keeping us out of the promised land of heaven with an experience to God. It's 
our own belief that something's telling me though, if I trust this doctrine that I'm gonna get over there and I'm and I just lay down all my fear and and sure enough my great grandmother was right. I'm gonna be struck with a bolt of lightning. And so and what, punishment is waiting for me, possibly. That that's the illusions that we have surrounded love in. Yeah. And God is love. To keep so, us out. So just like we learn to fear mm -hmm. God. Uh, we've also learned to fear love in general, and so, and then, uh, and then our teacher who joined with us when we joined our hands, our teacher is asking us if we believe that it would leave us in the fear and pain that we agreed to leave with it. And so, so it's like, so in other words, it's like you and I are afraid to trust. The new goal. We're afraid to trust our teacher who has taken over the relationship. That's what A Course in Miracles teaches. That the way that you go from having a painful, special relationship is where you both say, let's both give our relationship to a higher intelligence, a higher love than what we have or what we've learned. And then that higher intelligence uh, being then takes our relationship and takes it into heaven and takes it into the real world and uses our relationship for the good of all of humanity and all of creation. But yet, that's what's really going on, but we're like, oh, we can't trust you, Spirit, with our relationship. Because if I entrust you with our relationship, uh, you might leave me in the darkness. You yeah. might leave me, Spirit, in the pain that I agreed to leave with you. And our teacher is like, listen, I know you're taking a risk here. I know it's scary. You're to go on a new path with a different teacher than your ego. Um, but I'm telling you, I'm not going to leave you in the darkness that you agreed to leave with me. So don't be afraid to do the new path, to do the new kind of relationship, the new kind of goal. In other words, <clears throat> it's that reminder over and over and over. Uh, we can't be left because we're not alone. Meaning, that's what got us out here to begin with, is this belief that we're separated. We're alone. And therefore, we need to figure awakening out alone. And we're being reminded here that we won't be left alone to our old belief system, because now we're not alone. Now, not only have we joined another in this New, new belief, path. this new belief system of okay, uh, love is freedom. This is how love operates. Love I'm is gonna freedom. Trust this way, and when I join somebody else in this kind of curriculum doctrine, mm -hmm. then love will not leave us. Exactly. Love can't leave us because now we we've, we've actually joined. And love. isn't it interesting that that our teacher is saying? That because we've joined in a new path, on a new path, on a new uh, goal, because we've joined in that, our teacher is like, now you'll never be alone again. Right. Because we joined, isn't that interesting? Now because we joined, it because now it will never leave us. It's very interesting, and so it's the we don't realize that that we access the greatest love and support and help cosmically and spiritually when we join. We're like, I gotta get I gotta do it myself. I gotta pull up pull up my pull my life up on my own bootstraps. I gotta do it myself. I gotta do it myself. And again, isn't that how most uh, spiritual, religious uh, belief systems yes, go? Yes, absolutely. We need to go in your in your inner Place and yes, by yourself, sanctum, yes. and what of course keep telling us over and over and over again is through joining. Yes, through giving. Oh, you can only sharing. enter the art two by two. Exactly. You can't come by yourself. Exactly. And so, as you heal, you get healed. Exactly. Exactly. That it says that that salvation is a collaborative venture. Yeah. You know, it's something. You know, I'm like, I'm going to find my own happiness. I got to find my own happiness. 
And he's like, uh, actually, you can't experience happiness by yourself because you're never going to experience happiness alone. So until you are joining with others and sharing with others to support each other, um, then you'll never find the way. You'll never find the path to true happiness, to heaven on earth. You know, if you're trying to find heaven on earth and peace of mind by yourself without sharing it, supporting it in others, you won't find it. And that's what this Course of Miracles is teaching us. It's a path, the real path to heaven and happiness and fulfillment is by giving, joining, joining you know, joining and sharing the idea of healing, sharing the idea of healing, giving the idea of healing, um, and receiving it as well. So then it says, in your relationship is this world's light. So our teacher is telling us, hey, in your relationship where you have taken each other's hands in the goal of innocence, you are the light. In your relationship is, what does it say? In your relationship is this world's light. Right. Who knew? <laughs> so you're, get, you're giving uh, illumination, you're giving understanding, you're giving vision to the world by having a relationship where you're not giving each other guilt, you're giving each other freedom, you're not giving each other what the old way of Love love loves. loves demonstration was with punishment now you're not giving them punishment and when the world sees that in your relationship they can't help but to see something that's a sharp contrast to what they've been yes. usually seeing exactly. wow look at that yes. uh, that person was supposed to be home by five o'clock so that the partner could get off to doing what they were doing at six and and they showed up at 6.30, half hour, oh. an hour and a half late, and, and, and they didn't get any punishment. They didn't get any guilt. What? They didn't get any condemnation from love. They got gratitude. They, they, they just got, they were, the person just act, seemed to act happy and to, Grateful. to have this attitude of, well, they don't understand how everything is working out good and the way it's supposed to be. Maybe they saved them from an accident. Who knows? And uh, wow, that is really what. what it's think, enlightening. Yeah, and so when it's you see a, a relationship mm -hmm. where the two people are always supporting each other, mm -hmm. always complimenting each other, not looking for fault, but looking for the good in one another, that is a relationship. That is a start, stark contrast. Stark yes. contrast from the rest of the world's demonstration of what love, not just a relationship, what love looks like. That's it, right. Wow, that that's so weird. How the they, real meaning how they're not of love. Giving each other punishment. The real meaning of love. They must not love each other. They're not punishing. Each other. <laughs> but they seem they must so not, happy. They must not be attracted to each other. They're always laughing and yeah. smiling, but. They're never giving each other punishment. How does that work like that? Mm -hmm. And again, it's such common sense. If you weren't receiving con condemnation and punishment and torture mm -hmm. <laughs> and hell mm -hmm. because you weren't giving it, <laughs> see how that works? The more we're not giving it, the more the other person is going to be encouraged not to give it back. But the more we're giving control, punishment, Guilt. condemnation, judgment, mm -hmm. then the more they're going to be apt to do what? You cut me off in traffic, I'll cut you off in traffic. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even thinking about cutting you off but in traffic. But now. But now, you gave me a reason. Mm -hmm. exactly. Such common sense. Such common sense. And the Course of Miracles says, literally it's a quote, the second coming is the return of common sense. Oh, wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, great. I, I'm thinking this is so silly, stupid that we can't understand love. Mm -hmm. And yet, if you just look at how we do love, it's so ridiculous. You know, it's the opposite. Everybody of love. knows that love, you never know when you walk into love's courtroom, as if love even has a courtroom. When you walk before love's throne, 
as even if love has a throne. In other words, when does love start elevating itself over? Love another? doesn't do that. Love yeah. doesn't do that. We just have such a bizarre interpretation, interpretation of love. Of love. We, we've surrounded love with so many illusions. And now doesn't it make common sense and, and easy sense? Why we're afraid of love because of what it said. To, we're not afraid of love, we're afraid of what we what? Made of love. Made of love. Mm -hmm. And now, now we're, I love how the Course says, this is how we get healed. <clears throat> if we look at our fear, and this, and we're doing it right now. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. And, and then when you look at your fear, what happens? It disappears. Why? Because it becomes ridiculous. It becomes funny. Wow, I've been so afraid of God because I'm so certain that there's a chance, how small be pretty, it, pretty, that, yeah, pretty that, good one that I could say something wrong, <laughs> pretty good or chance. behave wrong, or do something wrong, or act wrong, or yeah. look wrong, or even feel wrong, because God knows my thoughts. Oop. Where, you know, zip, you know, zip, God's very sensitive. zippity do, there I go, no longer with you, and now I'm separate. Yeah. Whereas, you know, <laughs> God is saying that going, uh, I didn't create you so you can run from me your whole existence. I created you so that you would come right back to me in my embrace and that we would have a relationship. And I, as God, know that you wouldn't want to do that. If you are horrified to come to me because I might torture you, punish you, threaten you, in whack the name you, of love. smack you. Or any of those things. Of course, for your benefit. Mm -hmm. Of course, for your own good. For your own good. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm not making fun of anybody, any certain religion. I'm Just making, all of them. Uh, all of them, including <laughs> myself. Because yes. this is the same yeah. idea that I've had of God as and everybody love. else. Because we're all taught the same silly way. Yes, exactly. We've all been taught to be afraid of love. We've all been taught to be afraid of love, as if love can hurt you and abandon you and judge you. And that's why, <laughs> that's why, that's why when you are walking together on the path to learn the real meaning of love that you not, didn't learn in the past, there's going to be moments when you are going to be terrified and where you are going to be tempted to snatch back the gift of faith that you had offered to each other. So that's going to happen, mm -hmm. where you're going to be like, well, I, know, I know we agreed to like learn the real meaning of love from a higher intelligence, but uh, I don't think that you're going to do it. I think that you're going to keep me from doing it, and mm -hmm. you're going to be the reason why that, we, that won't happen. And uh, you're to blame. There's gonna, we are going to be tempted on this new relationship path to snatch back the gift of faith that we had offered to each other. Now, when we do that, and notice it says, it says, when you do that, when you snatch back the gift of faith that you had offered to each other, then all we're going to do is succeed in frightening ourselves mm -hmm. in our relationships because the gift, that we, the gift of faith that we gave to each other, you know, we were like, okay, well, uh, I trust that, I trust that uh, together we can receive the true meaning of love from the higher intelligence that now has joined our relationship. That gift that was given, that we gave to each other and that was given us, was given forever because God himself received the gift of our relationship and we cannot take it back. So when, when, we, when Greg and I gave faith to each other like, okay, together somehow... <laughs> we can uh, learn the real meaning of love and experience the real meaning of love even though we have no idea what that is and uh, there's going to be times when you know we're going to go back to our old interpretations of love and go well if you love me you would blah 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 we're going to be ha and i've taken back my faith we we will be tempted to snatch back the gift of faith that we offered each other okay so but don't worry, because you can't take it back. Like, I can't take it back. You can't take it back. We can't, we can't take it back from spirit. We offered spirit our relationship, but we think we can take it back. Like, I know I gave you our relationship spirit, 
to do with as you would do, like heal it the way you would heal it, make of it what you would make of it, use our relationship as you would make of it, spirit, and then next thing you know, I'm like, take it back, I'm like, I, don't, I, I need to do some correction in this relationship, I'm taking it back, spirit, you know, spirit, I, I, I can take it from here, I know what to do with our relationship, okay, we will, you will be tempted to snatch back your faith from this person, um, but you can't take that gift of faith back. You have accepted God together. You have, we have accepted God, and the holiness of our relationship is established in reality, in heaven. That's the truth about our relationship. We gave it to Spirit. Spirit accepted it. We can't take our relationship back. The holiness of our relationship was established because Spirit accepted our relationship and we don't realize what we did. It's the ultimate, <laughs> it's the ultimate no refunds. Exactly. And once we take each other's hand, uh -huh. and that's what makes that it gold. and that's what makes it work is the joining in an idea together. Mm -hmm. And the reason it's strengthened is because we have a third hand that comes in yes, with us. That's right. Where two or more are gathered, that third hand of heaven comes rushing in. And because that third hand is there, mm -hmm. We can't pull away now. That hand is too strong that joined us. We're going to try. Because that hand is God's own hand. Yeah. That hand is, is our higher loving self's own hand. That hand is all of the hands yeah. of angels yeah. in heaven's hand. That is mercy's hand that joined us. And that hand is strong enough to make sure that we make it to the end. And that's another thing I love about the Course is Look how many things that we do in life. We sign up for a class and go to college for four years, and then at the end of the day, we don't, we fail. We don't go do what we signed up for, you know, because we weren't good at it. We sucked at it. And here, this curriculum also, another pattern, keeps reminding us that once you join with heaven, and heaven is going to rush in immediately to join back with you and your relationship partner and see you to the end. That's a promise. You can trip, you can fall, you can stumble, you can, you know, say the wrong things, have the wrong thoughts, accept the wrong way, but because you made a commitment in the end, that's your assurance that you can't even mess it up yourself. Because now you entered in by will, by your own free will, to that which won't let you go. A holy relationship. A holy relationship. Exactly. And so imagine, imagine hearing that, okay, hey you guys, hey Anna and Greg, I'm, I'm the higher intelligence that you gave your relationship to and that you invited in. I want you to know that I accepted your relationship and now it's mine and you can't take it back. Just like you can't take back your gift of faith from each other, you can't take back uh, the gift of your relationship from me, says Spirit, the higher intelligence who took over our relationship. And now Greg and I still think that we can take our relationship back to ourselves, or that we can take our faith back from each other. Greg and I still are like, well, we can still break up if he acts a fool too much. Yeah. You know, we can, I can break one of my ten commandments. Exactly, exactly. If you're too crazy, I can still leave you. And he's, and if you break one of my commandments, I can still leave you. We still think that we can take it back. Like we're like, yeah. we can take our relationship back from you. We don't even understand a relationship where once we enter into it, that's it. That's once a, we. That's a sealed deal. Except once you enter into that holy goal that holy shared purpose right. that you share with the higher intelligence, the higher love, you know, that's not something you can undo. Now you can like fight against that and go, well, we're going to break up, you know, you delay we're going to delay it and, you know, we can fight against it and Greg and I can be like, well, we're breaking up. And the Spirit's like, that's fine. You can break up all you want. You're not breaking up with me. But you're not breaking up with me and y'all, you y'all can't take your relationship back, meaning, once that holy goal has been agreed on and we've taken each other's hand in that holy goal of, of 
freeing each other from guilt instead of imprisoning each other in guilt, then even if Greg and I broke up and married other people, that our relationship still remains holy. Like the Course in Miracles says, it's the destiny of all holy relationships to, it's the destiny of all relationships to become holy. Now, um, and so, but Greg and I could just realize, all right, I can't take it back. It is what's done is done. And what the goal that we agreed to meet together, we're going to meet together. So let's just keep on going. Let's just keep on going in, uh, don't, don't snatch back the gift of faith we offered each other. Okay. Let's remember that, um, that all that was really necessary says you don't real we don't realize what we what we accepted in our holy relationship we were like oh we're joining in a holy relationship we don't know what we accepted when we joined in a holy relationship we don't know but remember anna and greg that your understanding of what you accepted in the holy relationship is not necessary but what is working is that uh or wish to understand was all that was necessary. It, that's it. That was all, all that was necessary was merely the wish to understand. Man, when you can graduate because you just had a wish to understand. I love it. And you show up and the teacher goes, you didn't understand a doggone mm -hmm. thing. And then they stamp an A on your card and go, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> you graduated. But you did have a wish to understand. Yeah. And even though you didn't understand, just your wish to understand was enough. And what is it that we wish to understand even though we don't understand? What we wish to understand is the real meaning of love that we don't understand. But we have a wish to understand the real meaning. I have a wish to understand what it really means, what it really means to really love Greg. You know, I have a wish to understand. I don't understand what to really love Greg really and means. And to be loved. Yes, exactly. I don't know what that means. But I have a wish to understand, and Greg and I have joined in that. Greg and I have joined in the agreement that we don't know the real meaning of love, obviously. <laughs> but we both have a wish, and we dedicated our relationship to the learning of the real meaning of love. And when we joined in that, we were joined by by spirit, by heaven. Now I can tell you an honest truth here tonight that, and by the way, Bridget, I am so proud of you that you are able to cuss <laughs> a little bit today. Aww. And, and still. Are our girls growing our up? Little girls growing <laughs> up. Aww, our little Bridget. She's it's, growing a pair. And if we are, and if we are cutting out, that's Justin, is it? Yes, uh -huh. uh, if we are cutting out, buddy, uh, I was watching last Sunday's class and it was cutting in and out for me. Yeah. And I didn't know if it was because I was driving or right. what, but hopefully that's not the case again tonight. Yes. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, I'm going to say something that I forgot. But <laughs> that's all right. Come back to me later. That's all right. And it says the, the, the wish, the the wish to learn the real meaning of love, not what we learned in the past about love. Right. That wish that Greg and I joined in was the desire to be holy. Isn't that funny? That's that's the wish to be holy. You know, when you desire to know the real meaning of love, that's the, I, you're saying, I, I want to be holy. I want to know my holiness. It says, and you had a desire to be holy. You had a wish to understand the real meaning of love. And guess what? That's also what God wants. And the will of God is granted you. Because God desires and God's will also is that you and I know love. That yeah, we experience exactly, love. Exactly. And uh, so once, the real we, meaning of love. once we have that wish, yes. that desire, then we're on the same will with with creator mm -hmm. so how could we will the same will of creator and that not be manifested yeah exactly and that's what it says the will of god has granted you yes like, yes 
you want to know the real meaning of love and God wants you to know the real meaning of love and since now we want the same thing that God wants for us but our will is granted our desire is granted the Course in Miracles says when you want the same thing that God wants for you it's done right it's done so you know you may want to like you want to experience true success desire what is already done when what two, is already the will of God. When two come together in the same will and the same desire, yes. it is manifest. Yes. Well, there's no greater manifestation or will than to the other one of the two is Creator God Almighty. Yeah. When you're joining that will, man, what, oh, yeah. what could fail then? Nothing. It's, it's going to happen. And so that's why it'd be the will of God that granted us. Yeah, if you want to experience total success, then try wanting what's already been done. You yeah. know, what's all, whatever, whatever is exactly. already the will of creation. You join that and want that, and then your will will be granted. Your desire will be granted you. Because when you're wanting what God wants for you, love, real love, then you're desiring the only thing you ever had or ever were. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and now I remember what I forgot earlier is, <clears throat> I'm not saying that my past relationships were wrong or that they were bad. Actually, they were good, they were they great. They were very helpful. They were very helpful because, um, and it's not that Anna and I have it right now or, or no. doing things correctly, mm -hmm. but what we are doing is, we're, even though we don't understand the curriculum, the real meaning of love, we're, we've not perfected it. How does the course say yes. it, that uh, uh, perfection? Re re readiness is not mastery. Yeah, willingness, readiness, readiness is not mastery. Same thing is not mastery, mm -hmm. but it's what we need is to be willing mm -hmm. yes. and ready. Exactly. And what I can say is, my past relationships. Uh, with, with all kinds of people, mm -hmm. with friends, yes. with family, exactly. uh, marriages, colleagues. for me, colleagues, that uh, there was this, you know, constant punishment in the relate element of punishment. It came through guilt, it came through, you know, judging, how dare you, mm -hmm. how could you, mm -hmm. you know, that's how the contrast of, of, guilt. of the old way was. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, at first it was trying and hard <laughs> to not bring that old luggage, yes. as they say, into the new relationship. Yes. Right. But here we are trying a new thing in a new, you know, the new skin of this exactly. relationship. Exactly, the, the and, new wine and the new, new wine skin. Right, and then I can say for a fact, because now I've experienced it. What have I experienced? I've experienced what is the difference in a relationship where truly, you know, we're, we're, we're not perfect, but Our I'll, tell, I'll tell you what, it's way different than it, it's been in any other relationship for me. Where we do actually have a goal of releasing yeah. each other from guilt. We may not do that perfectly all the time, but at least in this relationship, we ha actually have it's a, a goal. goal. It's, a, it's goal. a goal that we've agreed on. To release each other from guilt. It's and almost it's almost like we went somewhere and now we because we went there, we properly and rightly have the ability to give a review. <laughs> well, this Course in Miracles, you know, I'll give them a, a half a star review because, you know, I stopped punishing my partner with guilt, condemnation, judgment, all the things that, you know, the old God does. Yeah. And they just got happier and happier when I stopped punishing them. It was so weird how that worked out. And I don't like this kind of life. Mm -hmm. You know, so one, one star review. One star. But for me, <laughs> it's a five star review because <laughs> I've been, I've been to the, heaven, the old to path. the heaven's resort it, with the new God. The, this God that I, the it's only meaning. new God because I didn't know love before. The I real meaning of love. I didn't know Creator before. Yes, right. And the, the real Creator, the real God, the real love, when I realized it isn't a love or a God or a King or a Creator of 
you know, wrath and judgment and condemnation. You know, when you come to God, there is now no more condemnation because there never was any condemnation. When you come to real love. When you come to when real love. When you come love, to real love, there you learn that there is no condemnation. Who walks out of a room with bruises all over their face and beat up and went, wow, where did you just come from? From love. I just came from the kingdom of love. And, and love and love found fault in me, so beat me up bad, real bad. But well, you know that's what love does sometimes when you're out of line. Well, and in our relationships, oh, I don't want to go there. I in our relationships, go there. you know, they only beat me up because they love me. Yeah. They only beat me up because they're afraid of losing me. You know, in our relationships, we are uh, we have you know the belief that you know they only hurt us and leave us and criticize and condemn us because they love us right. and that's what we've learned and so in paragraph six each instant that we spend together in our new goal our new purpose will teach us that this goal is in, that this goal is possible and also each instant that we spend together with our new goal and yeah. our teacher mm -hmm. will strengthen our desire to reach our new goal our desire our desire and uh every instant that we spend together will teach us and will strengthen our desire to reach our new goal see we haven't reached our new goal but at least we have desire to reach our new goal mm -hmm. And every instant we spend together with our new goal will strengthen our desire to reach our new goal. What's the new goal? Don't forget to understand the real meaning of love. That's the that's the that's our goal. What what's the real meaning of love that comes from the author of love? Okay. Love is not to be feared. And in our desire to reach our new goal of learning the real meaning of love lies the accomplishment of this goal. Why? Because our desire now to re, uh, learn the real meaning of love, according to God, the author of love, now our desire is in complete accord with all the power of Spirit's will. Okay, wow. So when your desire is in alignment with Spirit's will, then, uh, then what? then no little faltering footsteps that we may take in our relationship can separate our desire from love's will for our relationship and from love's strength. Now before we were doing it our way, which is the way we were taught love work, punishment, guilt, judgment, control, and it's like this. What is this? These are two mechanisms at work, but one of them is going this way and one of them is going this way. They're not working with each other. But when we get in alignment and they start working together smoothly, they make things happen. And when we get in alignment, I just love it. It keeps reminding us over and over that we have all the power, not some of it, not most of it, not a little bit of it, but we have all the power of Holy Spirit's will, which is, you could say, God's representative's will. So, I just love it. Now, now all this power starts. That We didn't have any power at all. Oh, no, we were that's like, I'm our, powerless. That's why our relationships were so burdensome. Exactly. And so horrible and so, you know, tiresome and making so much effort because they had no power in them. And you don't have power in your relationship until your relationship exactly. is in sync exactly. and lined up with the same will as, love. as love's will. And is. until then, you'll feel like your relationship is draining power from you. When you do it different than the way love does it, it not only doesn't work right, it just falls apart. And you'll feel like power is being drained from you by your relationship. Who's ever experienced that? I feel the more I'm in this relationship, I feel like the more the powerless I am. Right. You know, and that's so when when we aren't joined in the in the will of love, learning the real meaning of love, then we will not feel like we have any power. You know, 
know, but when we join in the goal of learning the real meaning of love, then we will access Holy Spirit's power, which is a lot of power. That's all the power. That's all the power you need. That's all the power there is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then when you're accessing that kind of power in your relationship, then no little faltering footsteps that either of you may take can separate y'all's desire from love's will for your relationship and love's strength from your relationship. And then our teacher who has joined our relationship, our teacher says to us, now I want you to know I'm holding y'all's hand as surely as you both agreed to take each other's hand. Reminding us again. Yes, the you're same, not alone. The same thing over and over and over. You're not alone. You're not alone. And when we joined alone. each other's hand, a higher power, a higher mind joined our hands. Yeah. Okay. You're not alone. And then uh, our teacher is now saying to us, Anna and Greg, or you and whoever, you two will not separate because I stand with you, you two, which means you two, I walk with you in your advance to truth. And where we go, you two, we carry God with us. This is our teacher speaking to us. This is our teacher speaking to our relationship. You know, speak. this is our teacher speaking to us together, not our teacher speaking to me or just speaking to Greg. Now this is our teacher and our guide speaking to the two of us together, and saying this, you won't separate. And this is the point at which we needed to hear this. The timing perfect. You will not separate. For why won't you separate? You too. Because I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I, how can you feel that heaven, God, how Creator, can you separate is here with if you? I'm with you? How is this going to feel now that the unfailing is with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we needed to hear that you will not separate because you remember at the beginning of this, when we're trying to learn this new path, I can tell you, I know Anna and I really experienced this, is at the beginning when we said, I wanted so bad to get her guilt, and when we said we're not going to do that, and I wanted so bad to give her guilt because I was afraid. I was afraid that if I didn't give her guilt, then she's just going to dress the way she wants to dress. Dang it. Or leave you. She's just going to flirt the way she wants to flirt. She's just going to talk to random guys the way she wants to talk to random guys. She's just going to work the hours she wants to work her hours. And she's just going to go wherever she wants without my blessings and approval and non-judgmental -judge attitude. <laughs> Oh my, oh my God, that, that scares the dickens out of me. And, you know, in the world of the ego, it should, because I'm giving up my control. And love doesn't control. That's right. And when you do that, that's going to make scared. you scared. Absolutely. And what the authors, for a number of times in this section, keep coming back and saying, I'm with you. Don't you, worry. You're not going to separate. You yes. think that I'm going to give you a formula for your relationship that's going to make it worse? And <laughs> you were right, Greg. You were right. Look at We didn't give her guilt. And she loved that so much, that freedom you gave her, that she went out and flirted with 10 guys and left you. And look what you get for trusting heaven. And if that even did happen, the point of the story is, are you still willing to understand? Are you still trusting? Because you don't know where the story is leading, where it's going. And you still got to be trusting and love that it's always, as Anna would say in our early days, it's this or something better. It's never with heaven once you start trusting and putting your hand in, in the hand of love and not giving out to the world what the world thinks love is, what you're really doing is love's looking for demonstrators. Would you demonstrate, you know, if I was God, I would be sitting here going, would you please go out and demonstrate to those that think their bodies, while you're in this body that you think you're in, would you go demonstrate to my children what I'm about, what love is about, that love is not looking for punishment and wrath and judgment.
Would you do that, not give them guilt, not give out condemnation, not give out wrath? And, and you go, boy, that's going to be hard, guys. You want me to go fight a war for you and not give any wrath? Yeah, can you do that for me? Can you demonstrate that for me? If, hey, if you will, I'll, I'll be there with you the whole way. If you're going to go and demonstrate punishment, wrath, judgment, condemnation, hurt, and all of that, then you're going to feel like you're alone. Why? Because you're not aligned with God's will. That's not God's will. That's not love's will to give punishment. When I came to Anna and, you know, love is flourishing, what's not going on is us looking at each other, how we can punish each other. We are looking at each other of how we can just give gratitude. And how grateful we are. Yeah, how we can give gratitude to the other because I'm, I just feel so in love. So I want I give you flowers. That's my thankfulness way of being able to say thank you for this wonderful feeling, mm -hmm. experience of love. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. Beautiful. I love it. And All right. Where we go, we carry God with us. Exactly. That That's right. So don't worry about separating. Don't worry about separating. You know, when you start a new relationship with a very new goal and it's very different, and you have a new goal that's different from your old goal for your relationships, it's very frightening. And you're afraid of separation. You're afraid yeah. that they're going to separate from you. You're afraid that spirit's going to abandon you guys. You're afraid you're going to separate. You're afraid of separation as you move forward. As you're advancing to, toward your new goal, your new relationship, your new life. Um, he says, so don't worry about that because I'm going to make sure that you don't separate and that you're going to meet your goal. Okay, So that's what we're being told by the higher intelligence love that uh, joined us when we joined each other. And then in paragraph 7 it says, in your relationship, guess what? You have joined with me, says love. In bringing heaven to the children of God, the children of God who hid in darkness. So you two who have been willing to bring the darkness to the light, you two who, who have been willing to bring the guilt to the innocence. That's exactly what I was going to yes. say. And then you said it. Imagine that. Willing those, to bring the, those, the guilt yes, to the innocence. Exactly. And two people who dedicated their relationship to their willingness to bring the guilt that they've enshrined love in to the guiltlessness, which is the real meaning of love. You two who've been willing to do that in your relationship um, says uh, this willingness has given strength to everyone who would remain in the darkness of guilt and fear in their relationships. You know, when, when people watch our relationships, um, we're giving strength to the people who still remain in relationships whose goal is guilt, whose goal is the old meaning of love. And when they see us who've been willing, not accomplished, but willing, when they see us who've been willing, you know, to bring the idea of love makes guilt and love controls to the truth of guiltlessness, we are giving strength to everyone who still is in the darkness of the guilt goal relationship. I love it. So the next time we're tempted uh, with our friends, our partners, our co-workers, uh, those who we interact with, next time we're tempted to, to guilt on them, mm -hmm. and then we catch ourselves, and then we go, oh, okay. I'm willing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to understand mm -hmm. how they couldn't be innocent. Yeah, how they could That's be not innocent. The requirement. Mm -hmm. You just have to be willing mm -hmm. to understand. Y yes, exactly. Willing to see it's, them as innocent. So instead of giving Anna guilt, I'm. I don't understand because I still see it as guilty. I still see it as hurtful or whatever. I still see it as a cause for me to give her some punishment, mm -hmm. but I halt myself for a moment realizing 
I'm, I'm practicing something. I'm trying to do a new thing now. Yes. You know, before I, I immediately punished mm -hmm. because I wasn't aware that I'm practicing a new path. But there was a better way. And now yes. I'm practicing this new path. Mm -hmm. And I'm tempted to dish that out as I've always just instantly without thinking did before. Mm -hmm. But this time miraculously, there's where the miracle comes mm -hmm. in. I say to myself, uh, okay, I'm everything in my understanding tells me to give her punishment, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to see her as innocent, mm -hmm. even though I don't understand. Right there in that moment, mm -hmm. heaven takes your hand with you. Yeah. Right there, and has given you strength. Mm -hmm. And what I love is it doesn't just help the other person, mm -hmm. How could it not help them that you're not going to give them punishment? Yeah, it definitely helps them. And But what I love the Course saying here is, you're helping everyone. everyone. You're giving strength yes. because this is an idea. Yes. And this idea, now you're giving strength to the realm of so-called darkness, of illusion. The people who are still but, in the darkness, who don't believe that's possible. So and, we're, we're giving encouragement. And I love this line earlier where it says uh, that when we join with heaven, in other words, we're tempted to give out that guilt, condemnation, judgment, whatever, punishment, and then we halted ourselves. Mm -hmm. We join with heaven, being willing to see them yes, innocent, yes. guiltless, uh, harmless, uh, all of those things, even though we don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Heaven takes our hand. And that's how, in our relationship, we've joined with heaven mm -hmm. to do what? Bring heaven to the children of God. To everybody. You know, we look for the Messiah to come. The yeah, Messiah exactly. is the one that brings heaven to earth. That, that's, and then that's we're you. being that's shown, us. you and I, yes. you're the Messiah yes. that we've been waiting to come. Our holy relationship. I'm the Messiah that our we've been waiting for to come. Mm -hmm. We are the coming of the kingdom of heaven and in that coming is this our simple willingness not to understand but willing to be able to see the brothers and sisters in the light in the same willingness that God sees them in. Yes. We don't have to understand that's where we get tripped up right. anyway. It's it's us who are demonstrating the real meaning of love in our relationships released from guilt it's us who are demonstrating that in our relationships. It's us who are now the bringers of the healing of mankind, the it. healing of the earth. Yes. You know, the, the arc of peace is entered two by two. But with those two goes the beginning of another world, and a world that they could have never imagined before when they had the old interpretation of love. It's that saying, you are the change that be the change you want to Oops. see. <laughs> well, well, we flashed, well, we flashed Ooh, up here. That was quite an idea. <laughs> All right. It was only me giving you a chance to demonstrate. Ab absolutely. The doing. real meaning of love. Like, yeah. what would love do if, if yeah. somebody spilled coffee yeah. all over them? Love would be like, oh, that's so great. It's so good for my skin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Instead of like, oh, my God. You've got your sweater dirty and da da da. All right. So it says, um, so we're now, we're, in, st we're still in paragraph seven. And it says, in your relationship where you have joined with spirit in bringing guiltlessness to the children of God, the children of God who've been hiding in guilt, says, we have been willing to bring the guilt to the truth, to the light. And our willingness to give the guilt in our relationship to the truth of love has given strength to everybody who would remain in the guilt darkness. Those who would see the light will see the light, the light of guiltlessness. And those who want to see, they will join with spirit in carrying their light into the darkness when the darkness in them is offered to the light and is removed forever. So when Greg and I, in our relationship, 
bring the temptation to give guilt and control in the name of love when we are willing to bring that temptation that old belief about what love is to the truth of love the real meaning of love then we in our relationship are going to join with spirit in carrying the light into the darkness you know of for mankind for all the children of, of creation so that it can be removed forever and then our teacher the guide who has taken over our relationship the guide that enters the holy relationship when those two people join their hands in learning the real meaning of love he says our teacher says my need for you two in your relationship my need for y'all's relationship joined with me in the loving light of your relationship is your need for healing so our teachers go like my need for you is your need for healing okay see how we're like connected in our need <laughs> i need you you need me right and then our teacher says to us would i not give to you both what you gave to me you two when you two because when you two joined each other you answered me isn't that interesting when we joined each other, then we answered love. You know, before we joined each other, you know, we weren't really answering love. We were answering the ego. So, in paragraph eight, where, how many more are we? Let's say one, paragraph eight. Huh? Okay, so let's do it. You who are you. That's how it started out, the first line. Exactly. And it's ending with the same line. As yeah. You and yes. I know that because we first, the first week we, night we read this, we, we were laughing about you who, but I realized that this is also the signature of the author here. You know, this author is the one that would say, you who are weary and heavy laden, it's one of the author's ways that the author has always taught. It's an, it's and it's the it's way that, thing. it's the way love talks. If love is polite mm -hmm. and love politeness always makes an invitation and now here we're wrapping up the last paragraph as the very first sentence started you who are now the bringers at first it was you the invitation it was to you who have walked so long in darkness you who have walked the way of dreams yeah and the way of that darkness the opposite way of doing things yes. that love does things. the opposite of and light so it was an invitation and now here we are at at the end of this and now that all that is past tense that is over and now it's you who are now the bringers of happiness of joy of of, non punishment of light into of, the darkness of freedom of non judgment of non condemnation yes. of guiltlessness of of the idea of your sins are no more you who are the bringers of this have the function of bringing what happiness to sorrow light to darkness good news to a world that's full of badness light and joy and hope to those who still sit in darkness the darkness of guilt and fear okay you too Mm -hmm. You two who joined in the holy goal for your relationship, you two who are now the bringers of the light into the darkness, you two have the function of bringing light to darkness. The darkness in you two has been brought to light. So the guilt and the control and the anger and all the old false interpretations of love we in us we have brought to the truth of love or, or you in us say, or you could really say that you who have brought sin to innocence yes to to blemish stain no good in your relationship to, to purity in your relationship to wholeness in your relationship you who have done that in your relationship now you become the light you know, to those in the world who still sit in the darkness of guilt, you know, thinking that love demands sacrifice, that love is condemning, that love is judgment. That's those who sit in the darkness. 
They think love is condemning and demands sacrifices, so they're afraid of love. So they're not experiencing love. They're not experiencing right. the light. But you two who brought your old misperceptions, illusions about love to the truth of love in your relationship, you two are the ones who bring the light into the to those who sit in darkness. And, and relationships that are full of punishment and condemnation and beating Guilty each fear. other beating each other up. You know, with, a normal relationship. With control. <laughs> right. You two are the demonstrators as the Course says in different places, that we're to demonstrate heaven here on earth. And this is what it's talking about through these uh, paragraphs here, is every time we come into our relationship and release each other from guilt, condemnation, punishment, we're demonstrating, so therefore we're bringing the light to a darkened world, where people can go, wow, you can have a relationship like that? Wow, boy, I would like to be in a relationship like that where I could be myself without being controlled and condemned and judged and punished. Wow, is that possible? Wow, that's is so is that relieving for real? that I could, you know, dress the way I be want, myself. talk the way I want. Somebody's not always cutting me down. Tell and, me I'm doing it wrong. And laughing at me and judging me, but they're actually supporting me uh -huh. and lifting me up and building me up and encouraging me. What? Yes, Come exactly. On. And then when people see that kind of relationship, they say to themselves at first, if only I could find the right partner, then I could have a relationship like that. Forgetting that what you're demonstrating to them is you don't need the right partner, you yeah. need the right curriculum, the right yes. pathway. And the right goal. And you the need right a new goal. goal. And you what know? you're demonstrating is the reason Anna and I are experiencing more and more of this kind of relationship is because we're giving more and more of this this thinking process of okay oh, yeah, I really want to can you know control her with guilt but but, but I'm willing but I've been noticing yeah. how much I've been loving <laughs> this new relationship that I've been experiencing with her <laughs> And I can only contribute it to this new way of behavior. Exactly. And so even though this that is wasn't now easy. A, this is now another hurdle, I'm gonna have to uh, you know <laughs> give her some uh, rope, give her some slack, freedom. give her some freedom, freedom give her guilt. give her some, you know, treating her like she is the Messiah, the the one to come, the chosen one, that she could do no wrong. Yes. And then I only trust that I'll get more of what I have been receiving, which is more of my own freedom in this relationship, yes. and more of her giving me back, wanting me to be able to be who I am. Yes. Man, I love that. And so, the more I love that, the more it's, it's easy for me to give that. Yes. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then, which strengthens it in you, and then it, it gives a demonstration to That's those who don't so have that, who go, okay, okay, I'm seeing that it's possible, and they're telling, they're both saying that it's from what they learned from A Course in Miracles, and I, I have A Course in Miracles, so I can read the same thing that gave that to them, so it gives people hope, it brings yeah. a light, uh, it gives hope to those who still are in uh, the darkness of, uh, of, uh, old interpretation law of relationships. Caveman way of doing it. Primitive. That I just know if I give punishment in this relationship and guilt and that control. we're going to have a blast. Exactly. And let's do it until death does us exactly. part. Exactly. Okay? Right. I just know that if I control them good enough with enough guilt that they will love me completely and want to stay and with me forever. And never want to leave me. And never want to leave me. I'm just <laughs> certain of that because that's what I learned. <laughs> we wonder why and our, that was us that was wonder, our past we wonder why our divorce rates are so oh, high they're, they're, because the way we've been taught oh boy. All, through all of our religions and through all of our doctrines yeah. of what love is and it, it's just a warped corrupt way of yeah. believing and thinking absolutely uh, well let's stop let's stop here and then um, uh, oh I'll just finish this paragraph yeah. 
We... How about if you read and I won't say a word? <laughs> read to the end. Just because oh, yeah? I think we've summarized pretty good. Yes, exactly. So we are made whole and and our desire to make whole. That's what we've been saying. So don't let time worry you too. Because all the fear that you two experience in your relationship, it's really past. And the reason that is, is because in your new relationship, time has been readjusted to help you to do together what your separate past would have hindered. So don't let time worry you, you two, okay? Because don't worry, uh, Greg and Anna, just because uh, both of you were not able to accomplish in your past, um, just because you weren't able to accomplish your goals separately in your past, does time has been readjusted to help you to do together what you couldn't have done separately in your past. So don't let time worry you, Anna and Greg. You're not running out of time. That's because you have gone past fear. Why? How do we know that we have gone past fear? Because no two minds can join in the desire for real love, the real meaning of love, without real love joining them. Okay. So don't worry about time. Don't worry about the temptation. Don't worry about that temptation to abandon each other and leave each other. And don't worry about, well, maybe our relationship is going to fail or they're going to fail it. Don't worry about time. Maybe we don't have enough time. Maybe we misuse time. Don't worry about that because, because uh, we, our two minds, have joined in the desire for the real meaning of love. And no two minds can join in the desire for real love without real love joining them. So don't worry about all the stuff you worry about. That's, that's, that's what it's saying. You two who have joined in looking for the real meaning of love, God's meaning, not your own past meaning, you two don't need to worry about anything. And you will be tempted, and you will be tempted to separate, and you will be tempted, all that. But you don't have to worry about that because you joined in the desire for the real meaning of love, so real love joins you. And so you two, no light in heaven but goes with you two. That means not one ray that shines forever in the mind of God but shines on you two. Heaven is joined with you two in your advance to the real world. And with such great lights have joined with you two to give the little spark of your desire for real love, the power of God itself, can you two remain in darkness? You two are coming home together after a long and meaningless journey which you undertook apart and by the way, which led nowhere. You two have found each other and you two will light each other's way. And from this light will the great rays extend back into the darkness and forward unto God to shine your way past and so make room for God's eternal presence in which everything is radiant in the light. Yes. So there. That reminds me of this passage in a course where it talks about <clears throat> those of us teachers of God that are leading the way are like our, our footsteps are like lights leading, lit, foot, lit footsteps leading a path yes. out of the way of darkness exactly. and the way darkness. and we're told so clearly in this section here how to do it in section three is mm -hmm. our advance toward the, the advance truth, to truth to, the advance to light love toward yes. light exactly. toward, toward what's real mm -hmm. toward reality mm -hmm. is in our willingness, not in our understanding. We're told over and over, you don't have to understand, you don't have to understand. You just have to be willing to see your brother and sister as innocent, guiltless, not deserving of punishment. All the, just think of all the opposite ways that we've been taught to do it, to respond, and respond with the opposite way. Yeah. And where we don't give guilt, we don't give punishment, we don't give judgment. And what we will start seeing, when, when heaven's hands join with us, and the power of heaven is there united with us, we can't help, a promise, we cannot help but to experience a new result. And it will be astonishing because at first we're going to be wanting to retreat back into darkness, really afraid. 
no, I can't give Anna no guilt on this because then, you know, what if she just behaves like she wants to then? What? And then, oh, I did it because I was willing to do it. Right, not because willing, you knew how. I was willing to try to walk on the water even though I don't think I can. And then what? I'm walking on water. In other words, I'm walking on over my fear. I'm walking on uh, sunshine. What used, what used to make me swallow and choke before now has no power over me. Amen. No control over me. I'm yes. not drowning in my fears anymore. I'm going full strength with the power of heaven with me, guaranteeing that I cannot fail. Exactly. Amen to that. Woo! Right on. So there you go. There that, you go. It took three sessions, but we have completed the Advance to Truth. And what's the other name? The Light in the Dream in the Blue Covered Edition. So we have finished that. And um, what Bridget and, says, that's right. It's, the key is yes, a new goal, right? right. Exactly. A new goal, you're right, Bridget. Exactly. Is, is that's why I say just try to do the opposite you've already done before. Exactly. Because the, the, the response we've always had before was from a different goal we always yes. had before. Exactly. Now we have a new goal, yes. and we just have to remember what that is. Oh, yeah, I have a new goal. And to be willing to keep walking. Heaven doesn't punish. Be willing to join in that new goal with another. It doesn't matter who it is. And be willing to keep on moving toward that new goal, even despite the temptation to go back to the old goal. So, you guys, if you want to watch part one and part two as well, then at the moment, you can find that on my Facebook. my Facebook feed. Soon, I'm going to be... Uh, uh, sending them over to my YouTube channel so you'll be able to watch The Advanced to Truth Part 1, 2, and 3 in succession on my YouTube channel. That's so, a great way to do it. Exactly. So it's a little harder to find all of the videos um, on, the U on the Facebook channel. So that's why I try to move them to my YouTube channel. So that's a way where you can watch Part 1, 2, and 3 um, in succession. So... If you go back to two of us sitting together, yeah. it'll be part one. It, it, yes. Well, it will say part one. Oh, okay. It, say, it will say the Advanced to Truth part one, and then there's the Advanced to Truth part two, and this one says the Advanced to Truth part three. Oh, well, that makes sense. Oh, isn't that great? One, so, two, three. It's a simple it ABC. Same title, and uh, the three parts are identified. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. We love all you guys for your support. Support is in you showing up here every week. Mm -hmm. You know, we look at the numbers, and for us, the numbers are growing, which is inspiring. Yes. Because whenever you grow a message that is the uh, opposite of the world's message, that's, that really takes some courage. That takes some courage to step out and go, okay. Let's say the opposite so, of what everyone believes. So it's not that everybody's stupid or wrong or whatever, but there's been this teaching about how love is, and now here you're going to step out and demonstrate something, even though others don't agree with it or don't believe in it that way, you're going to demonstrate it with us and join together with heaven. We can't fail. Thank you so much. Can't fail. Until next Love time. you guys.